So the assembly that you see in front of you here is the proposed design for a specimen container and actuator um, that will take uh, these three containers, uh, sandwich them together with physical barriers in between. Um, so we would put the antimicrobial compound in the uh, top, the uh, bacteria species of interest in the middle, and then the uh, inhibitor in the bottom. And what I'll do here is I will uh, go ahead and uh, change the transparency of each of these so we can see that uh, what this does is that this geared actuator actually penetrates each of the physical barriers and then goes on uh, to uh, rotate at the same time in order to add some mixing effect. Um, so if we move this, uh, we'll get it to go through the first and then the second barriers. So the beginning of the experiment would start like this. We would turn on the motor so that it is mixing uh, as such and then move it through the first physical barrier uh, to mix the experimental compound with the bacteria colony. Uh, after that, uh, a certain amount of time, it would be pushed through the second physical barrier in order to expose uh, the entire mixture to the inhibiting compound. So what we really have here is three identical uh, chambers. They can be made out of stainless steel or a biocompatible aluminum alloy. Um, and then in between the physical barriers, uh, we could use a thin sheet of neoprene uh, or even some waxes um, uh, that are biocompatible might be an option. And then uh, a stainless steel shaft, and uh, I'll move up a little bit here so you can see that the penetrator and mixer is really just uh, a couple of paddles attached to that shaft. Um, and of course these could be put in uh, a, a circle around the actual motor that's driving it. So the motor would uh, drive 10 of these at the same time with exactly the same timing. Um, in addition, uh, what we would do is we wouldn't really move the plunger in to the specimen container. Uh, the plunger and the motor that uh, uh, rotates would be attached to the outer uh, specimen container and then the motor that is doing the rotating would also be attached to a screw drive that moved uh, the actual entire assembly up into the plunger. So this is kind of like a relative motion. Um, it would really be that this part is fixed and the container itself moves up. Um, so that's it. Uh, this, I think, would serve the purpose um, of making it simple and effective. I think it's a little bit easier than what they did on the ISS. Uh, we do have to machine 30 of these containers to make that happen, but it takes out a lot of the uh, guesswork and additional components um, uh, that NASA used during their studies. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And of course, if it's useful to you, uh, you can reproduce this video or show it to whomever you like.